Let me put my glove on here. So I'm just out and about for a walk. In fact, I don't recall what I'm up to. So, in the stadium there. That's back towards campus. I'm just on this little path here. Um, I don't really have any specific goals, but I, I wanted to climb the hill. And I was hoping I could find a couple of deer prints. Like some, uh, some footprints of deer in the snow. The whole, t the whole four years I've been on campus here, I've seen deer three times on campus, which is crazy because there has to be a lot of them. Um, you just don't really see them. So, just keep my eyes out, see if I see anything. Well, probably not on these main paths like these. Um, you can tell that no one's been on these probably all day. It's lightly snowing, but not very much. Yeah, I don't see anyone, anyone else's footprints here. It's not as cold today as it was the other day. Not nearly. I bet people have been trying to sled on the hill, but there's, there's hardly any snow on the ground. I was supposed to fly at 6.30 in the morning, but uh, it's saying that the visibility is gonna be three quarters of a mile and uh, clouds at 1500 feet, so probably not. They are flying south. I doubt this huge pond over here is frozen, but we can look. more geese coming. I just love how quiet it gets with the snow. It, it all just absorbs all the sound. Nice pair of boots on. Staying warm. Maybe it is froze over. Definitely slippery here. kind of a pond there. Uh, it looks like there's snow on top, but who knows how thick the ice is. Let's go check it out here. I don't think I'm gonna go down, but I'm gonna look. Look at this culvert. I know someone who would like this. Looks like there's some thin spots, but that means that there's thick spots too. 
uh, the past couple days it's been like super super cold so it's probably okay uh, today's been below freezing all day too actually check this out I just saw this there actually is a few deer prints they're going down through here I walked the same path I just did, which makes sense. Nice and easy. I'll just pop off here. I'm going that way. I don't know where they'd be going to. Actually, no. They came from behind me here. You can definitely see them. That's clearly. Yeah, I see, I, see, I see tracks of them all the time in the winter, but you hardly ever see them in person. I, I don't know. Hell, they might be sleeping down here in this culvert to stay warm. Let's see, do I see any on the ice? I definitely see footprints on the ice, I think. I think those are footprints. Sometimes you just have to stop and listen and look. Let's climb the hill. Let's see if we can see anything further. I doubt it, but <laughs> I mean, I kind of wanted to go up there anyways. Run tracks back. You can tell that people have been sledding or attempting to at least. I don't know what degree to which it was successful. But here's a track of a sled. Someone probably dragging it either up or down. There's tire marks there. Yeah, it must have been pretty busy over here the past couple days. It's hard enough to climb normally, but with it being all snowy, it might take me a minute to get up. Bear with me. Sure, it's slippery. We probably could get some good use out of a sled, even though there's not much snow. You can see the light pollution just in the clouds here. You can just tell. <clears throat> or at least I can. I got I-75 there. No one's flying today. That's where I started recording. Came up from through there, looked out, and climbed right up here. It looks like people are sledding down towards the highway. And there's a fence down there, but still, that does not sound fun to me. I'll bet 
that the deer are coming from here probably in the mornings and going that way out of campus and to the, the fields to kind of eat during the day maybe. Maybe I have it backwards. It's hard to tell how fresh those tracks are down there. I, you know, the best bet's probably just to sit up here for a few hours and just see if anything moves. But it'll be getting so dark here in about 20 minutes, you won't be able to see anything. That area there is probably your best bet. Lots of cover. But as I saw, the tracks were going like along the bank of this um, pond. So maybe they're following the whole thing around and up. I don't know. It's really hard to tell. Unless you come out here every day and monitor the patterns, you're not. You're just guessing at that point. It's like a 737 to me, but I, I couldn't tell you exactly. Going into Toledo, but that's really low. Normally they're up pretty significantly higher, but they're probably avoiding freezing. Avoiding the uh, frozen clouds. Well, that's all I wanted to record unless I see something interesting. And if I do, I'll try to record that. And I don't know how to splice two videos together. But maybe nothing interesting will happen when I walk back. I don't know. I kind of just want to sit here until it gets too dark to see. I think I'm gonna have to stop recording. My hands are getting pretty cold. But I'd say that was pretty cool. We got to find some tracks. I'm impressed by that. See ya. <laughs>